Hey guys, welcome to this session on how to set up ActiveMQ on Linux machine. Uh, so I think let's get started. So if you wanted to understand what is ActiveMQ, you just go on Google and type ActiveMQ and here's a nice documentation about what is ActiveMQ. So on getting started page, uh, it is very well explained what are the uh, steps to be followed to get this active MQ installed. Uh, so we are going to do this installation in, uh, in, in four steps. In, in step number one, we are going to grab all the required package on the Linux machine. In step number two, we will set up active broker. In step number three, we will set up, we will do a setup for active uh, MQ CMS client. CMS is a, uh, is a client side uh, interface written in C++ which connect to the active MQ. And then in step number four, we will just grab a sample producer and consumer which is provided on this active MQ side and we will just see how, how does it work. Okay, so let's do the step number one wherein we will just go and grab all the required packages. So before we go and grab the packages, let's understand what is the pre-installation requirement. So uh, as per the hardware requirement, they have mentioned there's some hardware requirement and course operating system uh, environment or device it is it uh, it is mandatory to have java up and running on your machine you may just go ahead and check if java is installed on your machine it should show this output if java is properly installed on your machine now in, in step uh, now we will just go ahead and download this a package which is required to set up active MQ. we may just click on this and you see download is started here I have already copied this package here in my Linux machine. I think that's all we need for uh, ActiveMQ broker setup. Now, in order to do the CMS, that which is a C++ interface which connect to the Active Broker, we you can just go ahead and type ActiveMQ CMS on Google, and you would see it should take to the this page. And of course, there is some nice documentation available about this CMS client. You may just go through this. Uh, for us, in order to get th this setup completed, we will, since we are going to build this from the sources, uh, so there are options provided here. You may just go through this building setup required. Now, for the active MQ CPP, there is a dependency on APR. So, APR is Apache Portable Runtime and it is mandatory for us to get this dependency first. So we can get this dependency from here from here uh, and you may just click on download and get this back. You see this package is already downloaded and uh, I have already copied this package on my Linux machine. I will not do any build up now in as I said in uh, as I mentioned in first step I am just going and grabbing all the required packages on my Linux machine. Now in step, now the last thing we need is active app, active CPP source code. So you may go into this active CMS documentation main page and you click on this source. So there are two ways we can get the source code for active MQ CPP client. You may browse it via this web page information provided here, or you may just go ahead and type this clone, clone command on your machine. So I will just go ahead and copy this part paste it here and that's all so since i already have it it is saying you already have this active mq cpp in your in my machine okay so that's all we need okay i think there's one more part left is we would also get a sample example running for this active mq so this is a sample of producer and consumer you may just go ahead this as main.cpp grab everything and dump here so I have created in the CPP. So that's all we need in order to get a broker setup. Sorry, my bad. So that's all we need to get this active MQ up and running. So we have gathered all the required packages here. Now in step number two, as I mentioned, first thing we will we are going to do a setup for active MQ broker. So in order to, to go this, you may just go ahead and enter this package tar minus xadvf okay this should be a quick one once you install this you may go to this apache directory and you go to bin path and you active mq start and your active mq since i have already started it 
it is giving me this message is already running for your case it will show you the message that your active mq started now in order to confirm that your active MQ is already running up and running you may just go ahead on this okay you can grab this you can check this uh, documentation so you will see your server if if your active MQ server is up and running you should see this nice active mq web pen page now how do i get this url it is already mentioned on this documentation getting started right and somewhere at the end uh, okay i think this part you may just click here and you should see your active MQ is up and running now since this is your first time in installation you may not have any queue or any topic but as and when when we can run our, our consumer you should see your queues would be automatically created okay so this this is a broker setup so we have finished a setup required for active mq broker now in next step we are going to see how do we build active mq cms client so in order to, to do this we will go back to our linux machine and so as i said this is your active mq cpp this part we need to build but on the website it is mentioned that this part has a dependency on apr so the first thing we need to do is build apr library in order to be build this apr you may just go ahead and type configure so it will do all the configurations required for this now once the configuration is completed you may just go ahead and build your sources using make command since i already built this uh, it will show it is showing me that nothing to build and my build is already already finished for you it may take some time and uh, so you may check you may go to this path okay and you can confirm that your all libraries are built here okay in next step we are going to build active mq cpp part okay you can type build.sh okay the, probably since for me setup is already in it's giving me this message and then you can configure so we have built this there are there are two nodes before we build this uh, active mq cpp section we need to check whether ssl because in my case uh, i do not need this ssl so i'm i'm going and uh, doing this build with disabling ssl setup second thing we need to make a note of is apr library so since we have built this apr into a local section we need to provide the path of this apr di directory which is our local directory okay so let's go ahead and configure this with ssl as disable and your apr as a, your local path okay so you just have to provide this your directory of your local and that's all It should start to it should start your configuration now once your configuration is completed you may just go ahead and build it from the source for me i already built the source for this recording so it should be very quick for you it may take some time let's go ahead and check whether your libraries are built properly you should see that your libraries are built properly now in last step we are going to see we are going to check whether our consumer and a sample consumer and provider sorry so in the last step we are going to check a sample producer and consumer which is which is provided on this website here is working or not so it's provided somewhere here on your active mq cpp example i'm just go ahead and i'm just going ahead and building it from the sources so i have this command i'll probably take okay so as you see uh, this is my c++ compiler command i'm using c++ 70. i just wanted to depreciate all the warnings so and here i'm providing the include path for my active MQ cpp library where i have all my include files this is the include path for 
all our APR depend dependency. This is my main source file, and of course I have the libraries. Of course the libraries which I have built using this. So it it are uh, so those are lying under this directory, and and this is my library. So I'm using a dynamic libraries. So minus l my library APR library minus l of course my active MQ library. Just go ahead and run this command. Okay, here you go. So this would and that's how my this now this will this is a, a build up this is a executable for a sample producer and consumer section i would also need to get okay so since i have built my executable for sample producer and consumer i can just go ahead and run it before that of course i need to provide a, a setup ld library path for this library so my libraries are available on this path i will just go ahead and set the path okay sorry for that so if you see this is the path of my uh, oops this is the path where my api libraries are located and i'm just setting this uh, the path as a ld library path okay let's go ahead and run this executable okay let's go back and see on what's happening on this page so if you go and check here you would see there are since probably in this, this sample product i'm creating a consume i'm creating a topic so you would see the message in queued and message decode here you see this is a topic i have created total messages in queued 2000 here and 2000 messages are decoded here uh, that's all for this session thank you so much and if you have any questions please put it on comment i will try to address them as soon as possible thank you